Hi guys and welcome to Cultonomics. My name is Paul Hanley and today I'm going to be chatting to you about the short run Phillips curve. In this video we're going to examine the concept of the short run Phillips curve and this Phillips curve looks at the relationship between two things in the economy. The inflation rate up here on the y-axis and down on the x-axis the unemployment rate. Now this theory was developed back in the 1950s and what happened in this case was the economists who were looking at it were looking at the rate of change in money wages instead of inflation and unemployment in the UK economy. And what they noted was a statistical correlation between both variables. So the modern version looks at inflation instead of wages but is still looking at the correlation between these two variables here. And what economists have tended to find over the years is a short run trade off between inflation and unemployment. So we can show that by drawing a downward sloping line that curves as follows like this. So this is a short run Phillips curve showing, as we mentioned there, a trade off between the two key variables. And the variables in question are the inflation rate which we denote by uh, this symbol here, and the unemployment rate. So a trade-off between these two key variables in the economy. This is why we have a negatively sloping line, and the negative slope shows the trade-off between the variables. So for example, if we were to start on our short-run Phillips curve at point A here, what we would see is if we draw a line out to our inflation uh, axis over here. Let's say that this is 6% inflation. And at this point we have, for example, 2% unemployment. Well, if the economy moves and there's an external change which moves it down to, let's say, point B down here, what this shows us in this case is that the inflation rate has reduced in the economy. Uh, this may occur because, for example, aggregate demand has fallen. When this falls, it puts less pressure on wages. When wages fall, it tends to put less pressure on prices because people are spending less money. So in this case, if there's less pressure on prices, prices drop down to 4%, as we see here. But at the same time, with wages dropping and aggregate demand dropping, what we would tend to see is that unemployment levels would start to rise. So what we have from A to B is a negative trade-off between inflation and unemployment. As one drops, the other one increases. And this would be vice versa as well. They'll go in the opposite direction. So we can see it again down here at a lower level. We can go with, for example, point C, and we can see that as the inflation rate reduces even further, down to 2%, let's say, what you would expect is, as this economy deflates, less pressure on wages, consumption and demand falls, and what tends to happen is unemployment increases. So the short run Phillips curve shows this trade-off between inflation and unemployment. I hope you call back to Cultonomics soon. Bye for now.